Hello there, and welcome to another educational video from Wondershare Dr. Phone. I am Francisco, and today we're going to talk about how to deal with the frustrating issue of iPhone lock to the owner. Now, we understand the frustration that comes with being locked out of your own iPhone. So in this video, we will explore the most effective methods to unlock an iPhone that is locked to its previous owner. Now, from official procedures to third-party solutions, we have gathered the top techniques that have been successful in unlocking iPhones worldwide. We'll cover a range of options, including Apple's official channels, utilizing iCloud, contacting the original owner, and exploring professional unlocking services as well. But before we continue, do make sure to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon so you don't miss out on any future videos moving forward. Now with that said, let's dive right in. Part 1 a brief overview of the functionality of activation lock. So before learning how to unlock an iPhone that is locked to the previous owner, it is essential to briefly overview the functionality of the activation lock. Activation lock is a security feature implemented by Apple to protect your iPhone from unauthorized users. It was introduced with iOS 7 and has become an integral part of iOS devices ever since. Here's going to be a brief overview of its functionality. Device association. So when you set up your iPhone, it becomes associated with your Apple ID. This association ensures that your iPhone remains securely connected to your account and protected by activation lock. Activation lock status. So once you've enabled activation lock, your device's unique identifier like the IMEI or serial number and your iCloud account details are securely stored on Apple servers. This information is crucial because it helps verify your device's status during activation and prevents any unauthorized use. Locking mechanism. Now let's say that the worst actually ends up happening and your device goes missing. No need to panic because with activation lock, you can activate loss mode using the Find My app or iCloud website. Loss mode works its magic by remotely locking your device, making it inaccessible to anyone trying to get into your personal data. This means that even if someone gains physical possession of your device, they won't be able to use it without your Apple ID and password. Device recovery. While your device is in lost mode, you have the option to provide your contact information and display a custom message on the device's screen. This feature can really come in handy if someone finds your device and wants to actually return it to you. And don't worry, your device will stay locked until you either unlock it through iCloud or or erase its data remotely. iCloud Activation Lock Bypass Activation Lock adds an extra layer of protection, making it tough for unauthorized individuals to use a locked device. Apple servers double-check the device's activation status before granting access to the operating system. So, bypassing activation lock would require the original owner's Apple ID and password. Activation lock on used devices. Lastly, if you're thinking of purchasing a used Apple device, it's essential to make sure that activation lock is actually disabled. Otherwise, the device will remain locked to the previous owner's iCloud account. Apple has provided clear guidelines and procedures for sellers to remove activation locks, so do be sure to follow those in order, in order to avoid any issues moving forward. Part 2. 5 Best Methods to Remove the iPhone Lock to Owner Security Now, we're going to explore the 5 best methods to remove the iPhone Lock to Owner Security. These methods are common and offer reliable solutions to regain access to your device. So, method number 1. Use the old iOS passcode to unlock the device. So if you've acquired a secondhand iPhone and it's still locked with a passcode set by the previous owner, one possible solution is just to try using the old iOS passcode to unlock the device. Using the old iOS passcode can be a straightforward and effective method if you happen to know the passcode set by the previous owner. So for that, you might end up having to contact the previous owner. However, keep in mind that this method relies on having access to the correct passcode. After getting the password from the previous owner, use the following guide. First, access your locked iPhone and then reach the screen that says iPhone locked to owner. Afterward, tap on the unlocked with passcode option and then you should be pretty much good to go from there because on, on the next screen you will be prompted to enter the old passcode associated with the device then enter the old passcode correctly to initiate the, the process of removing the activation lock method number two 
ask the owner to erase the device using iCloud. Our second method involves asking the owner to erase the device using iCloud. If you have acquired a second-hand iPhone that is still locked to the previous owner's Apple ID, reaching out to them and requesting their assistance can actually be a viable solution. The original owner can remove the device from their iCloud account, allowing you to set it up as a new device. To successfully resolve the activation lock on your iPhone, the owner will need to utilize the Find My Device feature through the iCloud website. So just follow the steps to remove the activation lock. Open the web browser on your computer and then go to the iCloud website. Log in using your Apple ID credentials. Once logged in, locate and click on the Find My feature. On the next screen, you are going to see a list of your devices. Go ahead and select a targeted iPhone from the All Devices section. Then among the available options, just go ahead and choose Erase iPhone. This action will erase all data on the device and effectively remove the activation lock. Method number three, use the DNS method to unlock the iPhone lock to owner. The third solution on this list is going to be a trick known as the DNS method. This method involves changing the DNS settings on your iPhone to bypass the activation lock screen. However, it's important to note that this procedure only works on older iOS versions from iOS 8 to iOS 11. Even then, it doesn't work most of the time as Apple has patched the loophole that it relies on. Here's a detailed process to unlock your iPhone's activation lock. So start by powering on your iPhone or restarting it if it's already powered on. After selecting language and region, move to the Wi-Fi screen and if you are connected to Wi-Fi, disconnect it by using the Forgot This Network. From there, navigate to choose Wi-Fi network option. Next, just go ahead and look for the little eye symbol next to the displayed Wi-Fi network and select more Wi-Fi settings. In the Wi-Fi settings, choose configure DNS and then select the manual option. Now, it's time to go ahead and add the appropriate DNS server address based on your location. Under DNS servers, press add server and enter the correct DNS server address for your region. So I'm going to be showing them all on screen pretty much. So if you're in the United States, for example, there's going to be one for you. If you're in Europe, if you're in, in North America, if you're in Asia, and for those of you that are pretty much in the rest of the world, here's going to be a code for you as well or an address for you to follow. Once you've entered the DNS server address, save the changes by selecting save. Then use the back arrow to go back and choose ask to join networks. Enter the network password and tap join. When your iPhone attempts to activate, press the back arrow button. Afterwards, you can continue setting up your iPhone as usual. Method number four, take help from the online iCloud activation lock removal service. So there are going to be many online iCloud activation lock removal services claiming to offer solutions to bypass the activation lock screen and unlock your device. Research and select a reputable online iCloud activation lock removal service. Go ahead and just read reviews, check their website for credibility, and ensure that they have a track record of successful unlocks. Visit the services website and provide the necessary information about your iPhone, such as the model, IMEI number, and its current activation lock status. Given below is going to be the process of using Direct Unlocks, which is an iCloud activation removal service. Use a web browser to visit the official Direct Unlocks iCloud activation removal tool. On the website, you'll find the box where you can enter your iPhone's IMEI number. Make sure to provide the correct IMEI number and also select the specific model of your iPhone from the options provided. So once you've entered the necessary details, look for the remove activation lock option and give it a tap. Afterward, you'll need to choose a payment method to complete the payment for this process. Now, the unlocking process typically takes up to 48 hours to complete, so do keep that in mind. Now, method number five, remove the iCloud activation lock with the best screen unlock tool. Wondershare Doctor Phone. Wondershare Doctor Phone is a screen unlock tool that offers solutions to remove the iCloud activation lock and gain full access to your device. Using this tool, you can bypass the activation lock within minutes and without needing any passwords. Now, the simple procedure ensures that you are able to perform it on your own, even if it is the first time that you're attempting such a task. Wondershare Doctor Phone provides a comprehensive screen unlock feature for iOS devices, which ranges from unlocking screen locks to bypassing MDM and Apple. ID. Here are the steps to bypass the iCloud activation lock. Launch Wondershare Doctor Phone on your computer and then go ahead and head to the Toolbox tab. Look for the Screen Unlock option and then give that a click. Now choose iOS and select iCloud Activation Lock Removal. It's time to connect your locked iPhone to your computer using a reliable USB cable from there. And then go ahead and tap on Start to kick things off. Before we dive in, you'll need to consider whether your device is GSM or CDMA. 
fits GSM, no harm will come to your device during the unlocking process. However, if it's CDMA, you may lose calling and other, other cellular functions, so you may want to watch out for that and just verify which kind of device you have, though you most likely do have GSM. After confirming it from the iPhone settings, tap unlock now to proceed. Now you'll need to jailbreak your iPhone. Dr. Phone has handy guides to help you with the jailbreaking process. So once your iPhone is successfully jailbroken, the iCloud activation lock bypassing process will then begin from there. And with that, today's video has reached its end. So thank you so much for joining us on this informative journey. So don't forget to give this video a like and, and, and some thumbs up if you don't mind. Do subscribe to our channel and leave some comments also down below. Also, please make sure to hit the notification bell to stay updated on the latest tech tips, tricks, and tutorials. Now, until next time, enjoy.